Rebounded by Lloyd. And that one is stuck right through. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, and, yeah, he does. And the defense has to be aware of this. When you don't put a body on him, you pay the consequences. No one near him. The rebound by Yabu Sele. Passes it to Quizet. Here's Ertel from the arc. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Pass to Lloyd. This one for three. Trains the three-pointer. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about it. Great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Pass to Erdl. Lock at six. And his handgun. Shooting foul, foul, foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. First team. This is his first trip to the line tonight. No good on the free throw. Hang on. Two shots. And he's good on the second. Gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Fires the three. That shot off the mark. Gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. There's the pass to Quizet. Nailed from three-point land. He's not focused on the D on most possessions, but you can forget about him altogether. They set the screen. Passes it to Lloyd. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Lloyd's got five. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, and that doesn't constitute defense. Here's Ertel coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Shot clock at six. Has to hand it. It's up a three. Mickey grabs the board. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Goes up the baseline. Gudetis. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Here's Ertel. Now the pass to Quizet. There's the triple. Drills the three-pointer. Six points for him. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. To the wing on the left. Gudetis. You can't get that one. On 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. No good from outside. On four of ten, shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Out to the right wing. Here's Lloyd. He's got five. Out to the right wing. Shoots a three. Rebound by Javaris. To start out this game, about 43%. Here's Yamu Sele. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's his first trip to the line. Team foul. Shooting for the home team. That's good from Yabu Sele. Taking two shots. Good on both. 36% in this first quarter trying to get their bearings. Pass to Mickey. To the paint. And Poitrich gets it to go. Yes, and they've scored several Mickey. times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Hurdle the pass to Tavares.
Pass to Yabusele. This goes here. Over to the left wing. From deep. Second chance effort, and he slams it one-handed. Nice job cleaning some space out under the boards and, and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. Right wing. There's the screen. Mickey passes to Poitras. Let's pause to take a look at the teams that were tops in field goal percentage last season. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but, man, they were right there. Here's Ertel. Here's Quizair. It's good from long range. He's got nine. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. Pass to Mickey. Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And there's the pass to Erdl. Passes to Quizier. From deep three-point range, the offensive rebound, Tavares. Them. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the away team, number 33. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Goes here. Nine points in the game so far. To the left wing. Pass to Poirier. Here's Cooligan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the away team. Number 12. Two shots. First one falls for. Him. He's perfect from the line this time. Gone just a shade under 50% for the field. Five of 11. Pass to Quizier. From deep. That ball can't find the basket. His sixth miss in nine shots. Just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. A three ball. Poirier grabs the miss. Being at around 42% since the opening tip. Here's Cozier. Nine point game is last outing. Inside. It's intercepted. Kicks to Karasov. Just five to shoot. To the wing right side. Marries the long range jumper. Three. He has five. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Get ready for the fifth squad. remaining in the first two minutes. 158 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Huey. Launches it. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Fouled in the act 
good shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. One thirty-six left in the first quarter. Shot up two there. Okay, listen, you gotta body him up when he's in the paint. If you play off of him, then that's just two easy points. Down low. Here's Karasov and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. The first free throw is good. The away team. Karasov. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 122 left to play in the first quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. From downtown, goes back up, and it's good on the way. With all the intensity he plays with, boxing him out is a chore. Tough. There's a screen. A 10-foot. Rie grabs the miss gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first to the inside and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run and although an undersized center more than making up for it with some serious hops there's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game to the middle Here's Karasov, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. There's the pick with the drive. Poirier passes to Yui. He kicks it to Fernandez. Shot clock at five. Oh, good with the triple. Good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. They lead by a bucket. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's a... Get ready for the Dirt Squad! Get ready for the Dirt Squad! And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. Well, credit to coaching. Some guys would have made those substitutions in the first quarter. Now it's paying off. For the game at 42%. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Okay. You know a thing or two about being a floor general. It's no longer just a traditional guard rule. Not at all. Now there are three forwards, even point centers. And an offense doesn't have to run through the backcourt anymore. You look at guys like LeBron and, and Jokic, it's a different game. And the home team has possession. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. And you don't ever want to get into the head of letting the offense get to the rim. First team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Shooting for the home team. Number nine. At the line for two. And so he hits both. A tight game here in Cleveland. And it wasn't a matchup they fared well in last year as they just couldn't figure this team out. Here's Cooligan, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Six to shoot. Here's Zubkov. It's deflected. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Ties it up, and this next one would give them the lead. Taking two shots. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. The pass to Poitras. 
Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Huey. Now Fernandez. Passes it to Huey. From outside the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Huey's got five in the lap cluster, 38% for the game, struggling so far. Oh, Things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. the 2K leaderboard with last season's top passing team. Well, it was true teamwork. I mean, you think about uh, basketball, the way they played, true team basketball. That's what we saw out of them. They were always willing to work together. No one making himself bigger than the team. Here's Poitras. 11-point game his last outing. Pass to Cooligan. Going inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. First trip to the line for him here. At the line, the away team. Two legged. Two shots. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Here's Huey. His last outing, 16 points for him. Swiped away. Planica. And it's blocked. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's the screen. Huey, the pass to Engine. It's good. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Udeti. Off on the layup. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. To the inside. Got a piece of it. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Pass to Yui. Six on the shot clock. And a miss there on the triple. Gone 0-4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. And that one's good. Boy. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Cooligan. It's tipped. Here's Huey. And the three off target. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his struggles tonight. Moore trains it from beyond the arc. Lloyd's got 11. His three-point game is heating up. That's his second three of the quarter. Third overall. There's the drive. That one falls. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second personal foul, 14 foul. The first one falls. Shooting for the away team. Number 12, taking two shots. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 
on three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Ertel. The pass to Quizet. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Poitras. Gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. Down low. Here's Mickey. Out of hand on it. Here's Yadier Zele. Eight points his last outing. Passes it to Quizet. Good on the triple. 12 points for him. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Here's Lloyd. That's tipped. It is Hanga. Off target from outside. And at 36% on the night, they've got to step it up offensively. Let's it go with a three. That's number basket 12. number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Here's Lloyd. We saw him with 10 points last game. Pass to Poitras. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something. It's rarely a good idea. Here's Quizier. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pass to Lloyd. Rebound by Jabaris. The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been an easy lay. Oh, 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 that's great TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. And he could tell when his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. to Kuzminskis. Got a piece of it. And here is Fernandez. Here is Huey. Pass to Yabusele. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Great defense there. Anticipated the play and got their first. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Here's Huey. He's got nine. Pass to Erdogan. Fires from deep. They get the rebound. And the layup's good off the glass. Huey's got 11 points. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Pass to Kuzminskis. Fires for three. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. 
Two minutes to the pass to Yui. Two minutes. Here's Erchel. Passes it to Yui. Let's the three fly. Traps in the tray. Yui's got 12 now in this quarter. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Trying to... Bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. to the wing. Inside. Here's Karasov. It is good. Six points for him. Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. 127 left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Fernandez. Here's Erzl. Lock at six. The pass to Yui. I'm deep. He's off on that one. Thing in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing, just 27%. 59 seconds left here in the second. Bangs on the trifecta. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Hurdle the pass to Yui. Here's Erzl. Ball stolen. Here's Karasov. 34 seconds left in the second quarter. To the right side. Here's Zubkov. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Here's Huey. Passes to Erdl. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Pass to Kuzminskis. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And that'll do it. For the first half, same time. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Always interesting to see how... Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. And that concludes halftime. as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. For the lead, gets it from three-point range. Five points in the game. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Goes here. He's got 12. To the paint. Here's Tavares. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, why dunk you very much? <laughs> he, he can really fly. And you combine that, Craig, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. to Lloyd. Oh 
Six to shoot. They set the pick. Fires the three. The rebound by Yabusele. Yabusele's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Drives to the hoop. Misses from close range. And 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Udeji. Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Misses the wing three. Gone one of three since starting the second half. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not seven? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's Ertel. Charging for a foul of the game. He's starting to get into that thing. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possessions. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Gone two of four here to start the second half. The pass to Lloyd. Takes a three. Rebound by Jabaris. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Here's Quizier. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Here's Lloyd. He's got 13. minutes into the third quarter of play and the wing jumper offline here's Herzl pass to Quizier that misses had a chance to tie it there I don't know if it's been the main factor. But this off night has definitely been one factor. Number 40 can't sit from downtown. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Takes it inside to end the drought. Mickey grabs the board. Mickey's got four rebounds in this game. Deloy for three. The rebound by Yabusele. He has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Here. Over to the wing. To the middle. Here's Tavares. Makes it off the glass. Tavares has got four this quarter. Oh, hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Cooligan, and he commits the intentional foul. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a spring crowd. And a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover number. Get ready for the death squad! on three of eight so far in the third quarter looking to lock in that rhythm the 
There's a good screen. Knocks it loose. The train. He grabs the miss. Gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. Pass to Fernandez. The pass to Poirier. Here's Huey. 14 points for him. Inside. Now Fernandez. Tries from 10. The shot, no good. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Pass to Cooligan. Offline with his three. Being 43% from the field. Passes it to Poirier. Here's Huey. Five to shoot. Pass to Poirier. Off with the layup. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. To the inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. To the wing right side. Here's Huey. He's got 14. A three. Rebounded by Poitras. Thing is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. From past the arc. Can't hit that one. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And that one falls for Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez. So he gets them both. Thing has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Out to the right wing. Here's the pass to Kuzminskis. Here's Zubkov. And they get it back. Back to Kuzminskis. Off target with his three. This is it to Yui. Let's it go from deep. And that one is off. Out to the wing. Home team foul. Yui. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Home team. Get ready for the death squad. So it's the visitors now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Shot clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Stolen. And here is Fernandez. No good with the layup.
144 left to play in the third. They get it back. Zubkov comes up empty down low. Being under 40% all in all for the game. Solid play in the low block, and that one's cool. For Rudy Fernandez. We've got 128 left here in the third quarter. Here's Karasov. He's got six. To the left wing. Kuzminsk is in the corner. Not three off the mark. And he'll be happy with Darren Funk. He knows better than anyone else that he's still without a bucket, and he won't be happy with that. Pass to Fernandez. Out to the right wing. Here's Gabu Sele. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. They set the pick. And there's the try. Blocking foul called. Who's business? Second personal foul. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Udaitis. Number 13. 19 seconds left in the third. Now Fernandez. Six to shoot. Driving the lane. And Fernandez slams it in. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Get ready for the fifth squad! And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a it's good read, understanding where everyone is taking full advantage. Fantastic. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Abu Saleh out there with Rudy Fernandez. And it's Poirier in the center locking down the middle. And he drives in. It's deflected, and they get it back. 32% overall right now, not one of their better showings. To the wing on the left. Pass to Lloyd. Planica. Udetis. Buries it from three-point range. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. From deep three-point range, and the three ball is good. For real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. That's just his first turnover the game. He's been making good decisions out there. To that one. Here's Erzl. And there's the pass to Fernandez. 
been trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. He drains the quick shot. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Here's Ertel to take the lead. Mickey grabs the board. Mickey's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Lloyd. Let's it go from 14. Poirier grabs the miss. Poirier's got his sixth rebound on the night. Taken away. To the right side. Launches a three. That one, no good. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Pushing it up. Udetis. They get it again. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Here's Yami Sele. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second personal foul, first team foul. That's good from Yabusele. At the line for your home team, Yabusele! And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Cooligan. Passes it to Mickey. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Third personal foul, first team foul. And he makes the first. At the line for the away team, Mickey at the line for two. And so he makes both from the line. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. And Fernandez kicks to Yabu Sele. Rocket six. Into the lane. Oh, that's blocked. Here's Cooligan. No good that time. Here's Yabu Sele. And he finishes nicely on the lane. That's the result of the Nice pass to reward that. Thomas. Gone two of seven from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Hurdle the pass to Fernandez. Stolen away. Here we go. One on one. Panika. Fernandez with the rebound in the fourth quarter not pretty down around 29 percent to take the lead rebounded by Lloyd Lloyd's got four rebounds in this game in just 31 percent in the game releases another shot here's Poitras and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line First personal foul. Oh, the Second officials team. are all over that one. And Kevin, he saw the his, his the guys team. just a little Point sluggish out Two there. Conditions. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Yeah. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time right now be in the moment with each other do your job and i promise you we'll win this game back to you thank you david was passes to Erdl. pass to handgun just five on the clock here's Erzl. it's deflected and they force the shot clock violation Great team. To the away team. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Here's Lloyd. Three pointer on the way. 
really tough night for him offensively. I mean, I wonder what the score would be if he wasn't so cold from the field. Now the pass to Quizier. To the left side wing. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. To take the lead. Rebounded by Poitras. After the monster first half from three-point range, I mean, things have dried up for him here in the second. Here's Lloyd. Pass to Poitras. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got 12 rebounds tonight. Big time effort. Second team foul. Checking in for the away team, number 33. They've got the opportunity to get the lead back. And they've been waiting for this chance all game long. This is a Dehanga. They set the pick. Driving to the basket. Away team foul. Pointless. First personal foul, third team foul. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Line for two. He doesn't get the second one. And the chance to take the lead gets away because of the miss. Here's Mickey. To Poitras. Three pointer. Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got 13 rebounds in the game. See it. Here's Yui. Down low. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one hand jam. The pass to Mickey. There's the screen. Out to the right wing. Here he goes. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. First free throw is good. At the line for the away team. Number 33. Two shots. He hits both from the strike. And team strategy is closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. I think it's been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Here's Huey. Quizier passes to Tavares. Here's Huey. Five on the clock. Passes it to Quizier. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a putback. Uh, the deeper in the crunch time we get, the harder he's going to work on the offensive glass. Let's see who's the loudest. Get ready for the gift squad. Checking in for the away team. Udaitis. Lord. Team on D. The lead is two. Rudetis. No good on the three. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Off of this play. You know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. 
in 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. Inside, and it's tonight, and so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. The ball goes to the away team. Out left of the wing. Shot clock at six. There's the three. That shot, no good. Look, I know he wants to get him back into this, but that's not the way to do it. Any smart shots, not these. That's the Yui. There's a good screen. Pass to Tavares. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Uh, in perfect timing, uh, with a small lead, uh, they're doing all they can to protect them. Home team foul, Tavares. Second personal foul, fourth team foul. Good on the Shoot, first, and that turns the lead to six. Number 43, taking two shots. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. 11 left in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Here's Cozier. Driving in. Boom! He jams it straight down. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just one step ahead right now, looking to build out their advantage even further. Panika. It's in! And now they trail by just four. The pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. And his hand got. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Relentless in their approach. Even with the game firmly in hand. This is no let-up. You know, this is the kind of hard-nosed competitiveness that wins games. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! Get ready for the fifth squad! Seven seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Lloyd. Gets the three to fall. It's picked off. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Here's Huey. Oh, off oh, target. And they had a foul to give, but they want to use it on the ground. Shooting for the home team. He sinks the clutch free throw. Two shots. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. That's just clutch work, really. That's all you can say. A little bit of D now, and they'll be out of here with the win. There's Mickey. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so they get the victory here at home. That was a fun night of basketball. That was finished as they continue to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Chris Weber.